can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Right, question three over here is to locate the center of gravity uh, x bar of the homogeneous rod. If the rod has a weight per unit length of 100 newton meter, uh, determine the vertical reaction at A and Y components of reaction at pin B. So uh, for a center of gravity of the uh, rod, right, homogeneous uh, rod, the equation you're probably going to use is um, from the book. Oops. Let's change the color real quick. It's probably going to be the 1 plus um, dy over dx squared uh, dx or uh, 1 plus or sorry uh, dx over dy dy uh, square plus 1 dy right and these two are actually the same but a lot of people get confused it's like okay which question should I use right so it's it doesn't matter like which one you use for finding x bar or y bar you can you know you should be able to use it you know it's called the flipped flip the bar sort of a method right by Jeff, uh, Dr. Jeff Hansen I suggest you check out his video but um, it doesn't really matter okay so you can use uh, both of these equations find the dx or dy it only depends on whether it is convenient or not right so for this equation over here uh, for this question over here, right, we're finding x bar, right? So theoretically, x, so it's the sum of the forces in x times dA over dA, right? And d over here is dL, and dL is, can be found uh, by this equation over here, right? We can replace this with dA. But the next thing is, is, you know, x over here, right? So this is x um, so if we all right so if we're finding y bar right so if we're if we're finding y bar it would be you know y times a uh, square you know 1 plus um, d y dx dx over dy right we want to use this one because everything is in terms of dy, right? dx dy is, and dx dy in this equation that would be, you know, x equals square root of y, right? Um, it's really hard to explain. You know, it's something inside of my head. It's kind of like a little trick that I developed uh, by doing this unit. Um, so I'm gonna use two methods, right? One of them I'm gonna use uh, the equation over here, and one I'm gonna use the equation over here. So let's write it out loud and then probably I can explain it better. Um, so use, let's use the uh, dy one, right? So dx dy plus one dy over here. And we're going to put it at x over here, right? So what is uh, y equals x squared, right? Because it's in terms of dy, we're, so we're doing the integrals in terms of dy. So we want to put an x over here, right? Because of because of uh, this equation over here, right? It's it's the, we times an x. But if we do x, we're doing the integral of dy. We can't really do that, right? It will be a lot more complicated. So we have to write x in terms of y. So what is that? It's square root of y equals x, right? So now we can put the y over here, square root of uh, y, and now everything is in terms of y, right? Because dx over dy. It is, you know, it's it's taking the derivative of dy in terms of dx, right? So, the integral of y to the power of one over two uh, dy dx, right? This is just, um, let's see, it's one over two square root of y, right? So we plug that in there square root of that, that's still, still 1. Uh, the bottom denominator squares, that's 4y over there, plus 1 equals dy and times y, right? And this is the top side of this equation over here we're trying to find, 
right? This is the top in which we're going to integral this from 0 to 1, right? And, um, yeah, this is on the top of the equation, right? On the bottom, uh, which is dA, which is just this part over here, because this is x, right? But this is x, and we're writing the y value in terms of x, because we're doing dy over here, right? And then we, we can put this part on the bottom, right? 1 over 4, 5, 4 times uh, y plus 1 dy and 1 to 0. Okay, and if you plug everything into your calculator, um, it should give you, um, let's see, 1 point, oh, sorry, it should give you 0 0.8484 over zero, uh, sorry, over 1.47894, right? These are the value, you know, you can do it by hands, but you know, I think this is, uh, is going to require you to do use substitution with trigonometry. So just um, best to do it with um, with your calculator. Oh, wait, no, yeah, it's, it's just going to be like complicated. So in the end, it should give you 0 0.574. Right, and this equals to x bar, which is a little bit than a half, just like over here, right? And now we're going to use the equation using the dx equation, right? We're going to use the dx equation, which is 1 plus dy dx square dx, right? And since this equation times an x in the front, we're doing dx, so it's good. We can just put the x over there. It's going to be easy because we're doing the integration in terms of x. Right, and what is dy dx? Well, it's just two x, right? What is what is the uh, the derivative of two x? Uh, x to the x squared is two x, right? So we plug this into here, so that would be the integration of one to zero, one plus four x squared, right? In terms of dx over uh, just this part over here, right? This this part. And plug that on the bottom because, excuse me, that's dA. That's 1 plus 4x squared dx, uh, 1 over 0, right? And in the end, it should give you the same value, right? It should give you the same value, 0 0.8484 uh, uh, over 1 over 1.47894. And in the end, it should also give you 0 0.574 as your x bar. Does that make sense? You know, it doesn't really matter which one you use. It's just which one is easier, right? So in this case, this one wins, right? This is the winner because this is easier. And we don't have to do so many complicated, you know, derivative. We can just do one and plug an x over here instead of find, simplify, you know, x in terms of y and then put y over here, and then do the integration again of a co more complicated uh, variable over here, right? So now we found, so the distance over here, right? So over here, this is 0 0.574. So what's over here? Right? What's here to be? That would be 1 minus the answer we just got, which is 0 0.426. Right, and now it's easy. Now it is just a, a simple, simplified version of chapter five. Right, finding these forces over here. So we don't need the y direction of where the forces are. This is really genius, right? Um, because you know it's going parallel to y direction. It's not going to create any moments for um, the y axis. So we can use uh, some of the moments. Some of the moments. Let's do some of the moments at B, right? And since that's a little easier, uh, we'll get rid of two unknowns. Uh, plus, going counterclockwise is positive, equals to zero, right? And so the Na uh, times one meters, this is creating a negative, right? Because it's uh, clockwise rotation, and plus uh, this force over here center of mass, which let's just call it 
you know, this force. Oh, the, sorry. This force can be calculated. Um, let's see, Newton over meter. So yeah, and now we have to find the center of mass and like the the how heavy this rod is, right? It says over here 100 newtons over over m, right? And that is 100 newtons over m, right? We already calculated how long the the rod is, right? Which is right over here, right? This is dl, since you know this equation gives you dl, then you know we already found it, which is you know 100 newton per meters times 1.4789 four, right? Meters, and this whole thing should gives you 100 round to three six six. 148 uh, newtons over here, right? So it's 148 newtons times the distance uh, from here to there, which is 0 0.426 meters, right? And this whole thing it gives you zero. Uh, plug everything into your calculator. Your um, answer should be uh, 62, 63. Point one uh, newtons, right, for Na, and then use uh, some of the forces we can find, and you know what NBs are, and then since this is the only force going to the right, and no any other forces that's going to the left, so um, that force should be zero, and so uh, Bx should be zero already. We can already tell. And um, let's use some of the forces. So 148, uh, this is minus plus Na 63.1 newtons. And the rest, it gives you By. So By uh, should be, let's see, it should be 48, 84, sorry, 84.9 uh, newtons, right? Got one force over here, one force over here, and one force over here, right? And where's the X? We found it over here. So yeah, this is a combination of uh, chapter 9 and chapter 5 sort of a question. It's very smart, you know. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard. I'm glad I was able to explain these two equations, whether it makes sense or not. Hope really it makes sense. Um, you know, pick which rival the one that's easier for you to use, right? So again, you know, if you're finding for x, then that means you're going to have times an x in front of this equation. So is this equation, you know, it, can you just plug an x on it, right? What, what's, you know, what's dx or dy, right? If you're finding for x bar, then use the dx one, right? Because you can just put an x in front of it. If you're using dy, then, you know, you're finding the y bar, then use the dy, right? Because you can just times a y in front of it. Right? It's completely up to you whether you want to manipulate the equation, you know, for you to find dx dy or dy dx. Right? These two are different things. But yeah, hopefully this question was helpful. I was able to explain it thoroughly. I will do more examples like this. And if you have a question, you can email me. Uh, but uh, yeah, good luck on your studies. Um, hopefully I'll see you in nice future videos. Bye. If you have more questions. Uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.